Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new demo. Today we have the Northern Winds chest. Let's have a look at the loot and then open 26 of them and see what we get. Maybe 27, depending on how we feel. Um, so our guaranteed item is Nashblade Zephyrite Supply Box, which is the Festival of the Four Winds gear. And there is some Zite Taffy there as well, left over. A chance of all these lovely infusions. We also have the new Kynan weapons in the uncommon slot. The Roundtail Dragon J-Bot is still in the chest at the moment, and we have the infused Aurora chest guard. In the rare slot, we have the Fox Fire weapons, as well as the Glyph of Unbound, Glyph of Herbalist, uh, and then we have Advanced Cloth, Platinum Mining, Elder Wood, and Orion Truffle are the nodes this time around. So let's open up 26 of these and see what we get. Here we go. First up, we got a blue die. Nice. Got a revive orb, some crafting materials. Got another die kit. This time it is the sacred die kit. Got a guaranteed weapon unlock. Not too shabby. We've got a new kind of hammer. Not too shabby also. Nice, nice. This is the Crimson Line die kit. We got two of them now, so far. 19 keys left to get that chest guard. Hmm. I do wonder if we're going to get uh, more of these infused Aurora items in future backline chests, perhaps. We got an End of Dragons material bag. Not too bad. Vibrant die kits. A lot of die kits this time. There's another teleport friend. Revive Orb yet again, and it's more End of Dragon material bags. More Blackline statuettes. We got a guaranteed wardrobe unlock. Another Revive Orb. Do have plenty of Revive Orbs these days. So I did use a good few uh, in the new Fractal in that stream. There's another End of Dragon material bag. What is next? Another die kit. Metabolic Primer. Seven more keys to try and get this chest guard. Another of the, uh, what's that, solar? Sacred, I should say. No, the solar's black and white, isn't it? Uh, there's an upgrade extractor, another end of dragon's bag. Three more keys left. More materials, two more keys left. Oh, this is not looking good. Never mind. <laughs> the final key is the key. Where did it even go? Oh, there. Very nice. The infused Aurora chest guard. So we'll check that out on all races at the end of the video. But for now, I don't know why I got off the hammock actually. But for now, let's do our loot. So we got five transmutation charges. Don't really need them. Let's look at our die kits next. Six of those. Wow, that's a lot. Got, oh, we even have four more. A lot of dies today. So there is. We just got two of the same one. So we got the Breeze die, which is worth 19 copper. We'll try it at Country Teal. 23 copper as well. Or no, I said 19 for the last one. Never mind. 22 copper, almost the same for Lemon Ice. We got Banana. 20. And we have Brick, also 20. Next on to our Masterwork, we got Blue Rose. That is worth 99 copper. We got two of the Denim dies. They are worth 285 each, nice. On to the Rares, Imperial Gold, which is a gold 70. Imperial Red, a gold 60. Illumination. Only one silver. Well, 180. Redemption. 164. Blue Steel. A gold 22. Not too bad. Lapis. 119. Nice. Let's move on to our material bags. We'll start off with the tier 6 bags. Got 4 blood. Four scales, one... Oh, what was that? Was it fang? No, that was... Yeah, it was fang. <laughs> one fang, six claws, four totems, five bones, five dust, and one venom sack. 
for the large crafting bag, 17 blood, 6 totems, 6 fangs, 5 scales, 13 bones, 9 sacks, and 3 claws. And then end of dragons, loads of stuff, some gossamer, some bones, a few mystic coins, some ecto, a bit of fish there, some resin. Very, very good. Ooh, some tuna. Nice. Or I should say, ascended, but that's tuna. Uh, in case you didn't know. Oh, no. Apparently, due to unusual activity with my bank card, it has been placed on hold. Uh, damn, and I don't even use that bank. It, that's so annoying. I don't even use the bank. Guess I better open up that link. Anywho. Right, let's move on to our guaranteed weapon unlock. A jeweled trident, that is really annoying. And a wardrobe unlock, a lupine circlet, which I think is also kind of annoying. The new Kynan hammer skin, that's pretty cool. That's worth 15 gold, not too shabby. And we got 26 Nashblade Zephyrite supply boxes. Let's see what they are worth. What did I deposit up here? We got, ooh, eight of the counterfeit Queen's Gauntlet tickets. Thirteen of the obelisks. Four race flyers. Oh, God, we got a good amount of stuff here. Well, an okay amount of stuff. So, we got eight counterfeit Queen's Gauntlet, which is 16 gold. Nine depleted crystals, which is 13. That's 19, 29, 33... Uh, 38, 40 gold, and 50 silver. That's pretty good. Not too bad. Always, if you're just going for gold, I think when there is a... And we got the commemorative coin as well. When there's a festival item, like grab bag item in the guaranteed slot, I always find that's the best if you're just going for gold. Because you're at least going to get a bit of gold from the loot bag. Right, let's move on then, shall we? To the Infused Aurora chest guard. Here's a new Infused Aurora chest guard on Asura. Looking pretty good. It's got a little bit of a Aurora pattern to it, which is nice, which is currently on a white die. Let's go to default dies. So it's currently murky gray, enamel preservance, vintage silver, and frostbite green. Defaults are Shadow Violet, Recall, Pride, and Sand Shark. Ooh, that is lovely. Very, very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. Let's go full Shadow Abyss now. And everything looks diable, which is good to see. Top left is the main part of the armoring on the chest guard. Top right is every other part of the armor, it seems, compared to the top left. Oh no, bottom left is some paneling and the start of the aura. And bottom right is the highlight layer throughout the armor piece and the other side of the aura. The aurora aura, you might say. Here's our contrasting layer with blue on the top left, green on the top right, purple on the bottom left, and orange on the bottom right. I like the uh, bottom right layer. Those little symbols are quite nice dotted throughout. And yeah, it seems like the majority of the armor is the top left, but each layer does have a little bit to do on the armor, which is pretty cool. Very nice indeed. All right, let's go across to all the different races of Tyria and see how this looks across the board. Here we go. Here we have the infused Aurora chest guard on Silvari. Looking pretty nice. Don't think it works really with this outfit either, unfortunately. Pretty cool altogether. Pretty nice. The dyes we have here, we have pyre and blue steel on top with grape gum and pink tint down below. Is 
probably looks better without the other gear, to be honest. So it does. Let's move on to human. Here we go. Here we are on human with the new Aurora chest guard. And this is with the Orene infusion too, which we can turn off. Oh. I mean, if you got the dyes right, it would work with Orene's infusion, I think. Though, unfortunately, you can't die Orene's infusion, so you'd have to die the Aurora infusion, but I think it's a similar vibe. So I do. Pretty good. It is looking good, though. We mesmers can confuse the enemy senses as well. They'll see and hear things that aren't there. Let us know when to rejoin you. Legions. It's a shame the aura around your characters and leave too much of a trail behind you. It doesn't like move on you. If you get me. Be nice if it had a little bit of a trail. But apart from that, I, I quite like it. Let's move on to Norn. Here we go. Oh, and the dyes here was Ruin on top, Chocolate and Warmth we down below. Be... Here's the infused Aurora chest guard on Norn. Looking pretty good. Kind of works with the faux fire gear here. Ow. Ow, what the? What was that? Ow! Oi! Kind of works with the faux fire gear, I think. Maybe just because it's died similarly, but I think the sort of runic sort of look kind of works. Here's it just plain, just the chest guard. Very nice. And the dies here on Norn, Sienna, Star Unite, Gold, and Sienna. Here we are on Char with the new infused uh, Aurora chest guard. Pretty nice. I don't think it works with. I don't know. It does work with the shoulders on Char because they're a bit further back. And these gloves aren't too bad either. Very nice indeed. Let's see what dyes do we have? We have Glint's Purview, Olive Silk, Malt, and Gold. So quite a bluey, neutral sort of vibe going on here. And then we have that being enforced with the color vibe of Ember Bay. Even though post processing should. I think it's off. It's off. Much brighter with it on. All right, let's head back to Quando and wrap up the video. Here we go. Do that. <laughs> All right, let's head back to Quando and wrap up the video. Here we go. That is it from me for today, guys. I do hope you enjoyed this demo. You can check out the demo of all the new mounts as well. The link for that should be in the end screen. Or we also have a short version as well, if you prefer. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more in the future, you can join the Discord, the link for that is down below, and you can support the channel through the membership program or with super thanks. And there's more information on that down below as well. And oh, these final dice you put on here, Shadow Turquoise, Enamel Preservance, Murky Grey, and Frostbite Green, kind of going back to what I had at the start. Uh, I think it quite, it works quite well with this, uh, this hat, I think. Well, it's kind of armoured, and the trousers don't work anymore, but the rest of the outfit looks, looks alright. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching, and take care.